I literally have a coffee in my fridge that I made yesterday when I was taste testing new Chamberlain coffee blends. Oh, it's so good. I don't know when that's being released, but it's really fucking good. ChamberlainCoffee.com. New things coming. Big shit coming. <laughs> I will be making a coffee with you guys though anyway because it feels weird to me to like not make one. Anyway, so basically here's what's going on. I, oh my God, I literally wore the sweater like two videos ago. Whatever, grow up. Just a mommy and her baby. You need to go away now. I've been in LA for literally six months straight. It's terrible. Now let me explain. Normally I'm traveling like constantly. Like I'm, I, I normally travel like once or twice a month, sometimes even more. This is the longest I've ever been in LA in one sitting. To say the least, I'm hurting. There's not a lot of places I can go right now because not a lot of things are open and available. But I've been seeing a lot of people go on like little staycations in LA. Like they go stay at a hotel in LA for funsies. I decided that that's what I'm gonna do today, randomly, last minute. I don't know where I'm gonna stay. I don't wanna like, so I live in like, I don't wanna stay in like my town. Like I wanna drive maybe like 15 minutes or maybe I'll just go somewhere that's like five minutes away. I don't know. You know, it's funny because I actually just recently stayed at a hotel uh, for a few days because my plumbing in my house got all fucked and I had to go stay at a hotel because I didn't have plumbing for a while. Unfortunately, the experience was not relaxing because I was coming back to my own home like once a day to like talk to the plumber and shit. My coffee is done and looks very sexy. Let's do a little montage. Listen, what's unfortunate is that I'm about to put this in the fridge and then drink the one that I made yesterday because that one's gonna go bad. Um, before we try to book this trip, let me show you these shoes I just bought because I'm fucking obsessed. This is my dream shoe. Green high top fucking Converse. It literally, it couldn't be a better shoe for me. It's so perfect. They're so perfect. So now it's time to book our trip. Okay, so we're at my desk. Why is the lighting so fucking bad? Let's say best hotels in LA. Los Angeles, what's today? 11th, okay, so let's say 11th. Adult, one, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm an adult. Show deals, hotels.com, let's see what we got. <laughs> like I don't wanna stay next to the airport at all. Let's click five stars. Let's really treat myself today. I'm going on a vacation. Oh. What if I see in Beverly Hills? Do the whole Beverly Hills thing? Beverly! Wait, I can't sing. It's like, ooh. Oh. I need to call some of these places and ask if they're even doing like room service and stuff because to be completely honest, I just want to get room service once. I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I'll get back to you. Hi, um, I was just wondering about the COVID restrictions. Wait just one moment. As of right now, the pool is operating without any interruptions. Let's oh, room service, that. I think that's okay too. Let me just double check. And we're all done. It's time to start packing. I don't know, she didn't tell me when check-in is. Check-in time is 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Okay, great, thank you. I'm not gonna pack a lot because normally I like overpack when I'm like staying somewhere for one night, but like not today. Packing haul check. Let's put a little toothbrush in there. Toothbrush, I mean toothpaste. Got a razor. I'm probably not even gonna shower when I'm there. I'm probably gonna just shower when I get home, so. Also, I don't shower anyway, right guys? <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. I do need to pack some skincare. I'm just gonna pack a moisturizer and call it a day. Toiletries are ready to go. Got some tampons in there too, even though I'm not on my period, but when am I not on my period? Okay, well that's done. So let's think about this logically. I'm gonna be there for 24 hours. Do I even need to bring a pair of pants? Like I'm not even packing socks. I'm thinking PJ outfits. So we got some shorts, comfy shorts, right? Comfy matching navy blue zip up. Okay, easy, done. Maybe if I need to go in public outfit, we could do just some classic blue jeans. What, maybe a sweater? Sweater. I think that's perfect. That was the easiest packing I've ever done. This is a challenge. Can I fit all of it in here? Let's find out. Did it, but I do need to fit, hold on. Okay, it's a little bit jam packed. Like this is not comfortable to carry, right? Actually, it's not bad. Okay, so that's literally it. Like I'm literally ready to go. So until 3 p.m., I'm just gonna pick my ass and do nothing. Oh, I need to bring phone chargers and shit. Ah, oh, that's always my least favorite thing to pack. Is like phone chargers and stuff, I hate that. Anyway, I'll see you guys at three when it's time to go.
It's fucking vacation time, baby. It's now three. I fed the cats and now we're headed to the hotel. I think it's important to go on vacation by yourself though and like do things by yourself. I've always felt like that. Like I filmed this video last year at a time when like I was, it was like, being alone to me was like the scariest shit ever. Here's the thing about me, I always feel like I'm driving wrong, even when I'm not. <laughs> I just wanna order room service. That's like really what I want. Like I don't even care about staying at a hotel. I just like room service. Also my car is disgusting. I just looked down at my seat and I have like fucking Indian food on my seat because I was eating Indian food in my car the other day. <laughs> It's really good, but this year hasn't been like the craziest year of my personal life, but like, wow, what a year we've had. You know what I mean? It's just blowing my mind. Also, the sweater I'm wearing has a hole in the armpit. Oh my God, I didn't even bring a fucking bathing suit, so I can't go swim in the pool. But to be completely honest with you, I don't really want to swim in a pool anyway. That's not my energy today. You know, it's really interesting because I feel like when I get really worn down, like if I overwork myself or something like that and I get really like exhausted and I exhaust myself, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't take me long to recharge. Like my dad is always like, Emma, it doesn't take that long to recharge. Like it doesn't, it, all you need is like 12 hours to recharge and then you're good. It's like if you charge your phone, but you don't go on it the whole time it's charging, that thing's gonna charge twice as fast. Same thing with your mind. Ted talk, if you guys wanna have me on, you just saw what I'm capable of. The metaphors are there. The passion is there. Um, what was that sound? Was that my own throat? I heard a really loud beeping sound. Um, did my like throat like glitch? Like was that literally my own throat? My nails fell off. So I'm just like nailless. Oh God, I shouldn't be doing that. Me looking around to see if I'm gonna get pulled over for that. I like really need to be careful. I don't know why I'm so dumb. I'm also being watched by the people in the car to the left of me, so I need to go by. I'm here and holy shit, this hotel is so nice. Wanna see? Room tour. There's me. I do not look like I belong in this hotel. Yeah. Oh, cool. Closet, which I won't need considering I bought two outfits. Bathroom, okay. Bathroom or toilet. Shower that I won't be using because you know me guys <gasps> Cute. Let's sit outside and talk how do I open is it a push Oh Holy shit look at all that smoke Literally, how do these doors work? Get it. Let's talk. I'm very excited to spend the next few hours in here until I go to sleep and then wake up and leave. First, I need to find the room service menu, so give me 30 seconds to do that. That's, oh wait, there's an iPad. <gasps> they give you a fucking iPad, what is this? Oh my God, I can change the temperature in the room. Cool. In-room dining, done. Check this out. It's a little techie thing. Cool. Ooh, half roasted heirloom cauliflower. I like that. What if I just got the seasonal soup and just like wung it? Like even if it's bad, it's like whatever. I'm gonna put in the comments, I'm gonna say only if it's vegan. Cool. But also they have a spa here. I'm kind of interested in that. Oh no, the spa's closed. Great. You know what I could do? I could make a coffee here. It's not gonna be Chamberlain coffee because I forgot to bring some, but. Better than nothing, right? Can they bring me ice? Like, should I call them and ask them to bring me up ice? Or like, do they have an ice machine? Like, what do I do? Oh, let's open this all the way. How do I open this? Is it like a remote control or something? I hate technology. Alexa, open the blinds. I'm just gonna keep, they, there's literally an Alexa here. I'm literally just gonna keep giving Alexa demands until she like does something. Alexa, what's the weather right now? Or something. Alexa, you suck. You are not doing your job. Alexa, open the blinds. Alexa, open the curtains. Okay. Apparently not okay, because they're not opening. What, am I missing something? Oh my god, maybe I use the fucking iPad, the nifty iPad. Maybe she doesn't open all the way, but now it's just bugging me. Hi, um, I just was wondering if I could order a bucket of ice, or if there's like an ice machine. Thank you so much. Mm. Should I have ordered almond milk too? All right, so the espresso machine's right here. You guys can't really see it. On, make my coffee. Fuck, that's loud. Mm. It's good. 
good. Wait, supposedly they have a snack. This is a massive thing of ice. Time to make a little Americano because I don't have any milk that is vegan, so. So I'm gonna give this hotel a review so far. So I've been here for about 20 minutes. Um, and so far I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Lots of technology, which is like kind of a bummer. Um, it kind of makes things a little bit more confusing for me, which I don't like. But at the same time, the quality of everything has been really amazing so far. Like the way that they just sent like enough ice for 40 people up to my room when I asked for ice. Uh, gonna make a little Americano here. I don't know if that was a good idea. I actually kind of like it. It tastes like iced tea, but like coffee version. I'm gonna give this hotel like a nine out of 10. No wait, like a seven out of, maybe eight. Eight out of 10. But I'm also starting to feel like I, I want to go home. I'm gonna find a snack menu. That'll make me happy. Oh my God. I wonder if they're gonna have breakfast tomorrow morning. <gasps> That sounds delicious. Gummy pandas, coconut water, right. So none of that. None of the snacks are speaking to me, but maybe later I'll order. None of it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God, this is kind of cute. Thumbnail. Wow, the lighting is kind of beautiful. So this is, the funniest shit I've ever seen. It's soup though. Wait, oh, is that soup? This is the soup. I'm kind of scared of that, but anyway. Cream of corn. It's kind of good, actually. I'm gonna give the cream of corn like an eight out of 10 because I normally hate cream of corn and this is not bad. I'm gonna commend their service. Waiter walked in, such an angel. I mean, just like was so polite and awesome. So that was a great experience. Um, so definitely 10 out of 10 on service. Next, I'm eating this cauliflower. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. oh. mm, bread. This might give me diarrhea, but the cream of corn is gonna do that on its own, so it might as well just hit me while I'm down, you know what I mean? The cauliflower is a seven out of 10 because like I've had better cauliflower. It's just maybe not my style. The bread's probably like a seven out of 10 too. It's really good, but maybe if I dip it in the soup, go crazy. Let's try the mixed green salad. Is there even dressing on this? Did they not give me dressing? They didn't. <coughs> Watch this creativity. I'm gonna put the cauliflower sauce on my salad. Nobody thinks like me, you know? Kind of genius. See, maybe it'd be better if I was not in LA still. Like I literally just went to a hotel in LA. We'll have fun. We'll make it fun. I don't know how, but we will. Yay! I'm gonna have a pillow fight with myself. That actually hurt. Maybe if I eat this piece of cauliflower like it's a piece of corn, it'll be fun. <laughs> just a girl eating cauliflower in her room. Staycations, in a sense, may not be for me, and I'll explain why. I think I get really bad anxiety. A staycation for me is not really a staycation because I know how close to home I am, so it's like hard for me not to just wanna go home and sleep in my own bed. Part of me is like, okay, well, you're here, Emma, like, this is fun, and like, enjoy it. But then the other half of me is like, well, I kinda wanna just cuddle with my cats. Y'all, the more I eat, the more I wanna go home. Why am I like this? I'm here to what? Relax. What relaxes me more than TikTok? Nothing. So I just watched TikToks for way too long. And then I was like, okay, wait, Emma, you're here. You're in a hotel room. Do something that you wouldn't do at home. I realized, hello, I have a bathtub. So check out what I'm gonna do. Emma's taking a bath. I already have a tummy ache from the cream of corn that I ate because dairy doesn't agree with me, but we're having fun, right? Bath salts. Oh, it smells good. This is fun. Maybe I'll make myself an ice water for the bath. Check it out. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Great, bath is done. Why is my bath blue? Unfortunately, I cannot film me in the bath. Maybe I'll figure out an angle. Look at me. It's Friday right now and I'm filming this. TGIF, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm in the tub, as you can see. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is the angle that we're getting. Um, I do have a phobia that something's reflecting my nude body right now. It's weird when you're in your own home, you become blind to things that are there that you don't use. Like, I never use my bathtub for some reason. And I've never used it, actually. I'm just gonna sit in here and I didn't bring my phone in here so I could just really think about who I am and why I'm such a mess all the time and all of that, so. All right, how do I turn this off without flashing the camera. I know I was anxious earlier. I know I was like, oh, I wanna go home. Um, that is over.
that bath just reset. That was good. Um, definitely would recommend taking baths if you guys get anxious or whatever. I never have tried that, but I feel like my whole body is like not as tense. I feel like I'm constantly living in a very tense state. Like my jaw's always tight. Not right now, dude, at all. I feel like all my muscles are like jelly. I did throw up a little bit, but yeah, you know what? This is actually really nice. You know what, maybe I should have some time to myself with the camera off. Just dance around my room, listen to copyrighted music, or just lay in bed and watch more TikToks. Don't tell anyone. Hey! <laughs> um, it's been a few hours, it's nighttime now. It's dark. There's been like a bunch of police activity near here, so I'm a little bit frightened, but whatever. I've decided I'm gonna learn a TikTok dance and I wanted to take you guys along with the journey. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to go to my TikTok to find out what song I use because we will get copyrighted, so. I also have water all over my face because I feel spilled water on my face. Um, we're going in the bathroom because this is where I film TikToks. Oh, this is not going, yeah, so that's not going on the internet. Back to bed for me. But I am enjoying being in this room now. I do feel like I'm not at home, which is kind of unsettling in a weird way, but also like definitely a relief. You know what I think it really is? I think going on vacation or kind of like getting yourself out of your home, it makes you appreciate your home a lot more. You know, shit isn't so bad after all, right? It's so funny because it's like Friday and it's like, I want to do something kind of fun and crazy, but also like, what does that even mean? Like, what do I do that's fun and crazy besides online shop? Nothing. Hotel check, rocks in. Copyright check. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> I decided I'd order a little something before bed. A fruit and berry bowl. That sounds nice. I'll get the sorbets too, fuck it. Get some lemon sorbet. Before I go to bed, I thought we could have a little sleepover moment, like talk about our feelings and stuff. Like, we're at a sleepover. If you're not watching this at like, Nighttime, maybe save this part. There is a weird smell coming from it. Let's eat a berry. Very good berry. What do people talk about at sleepovers? Ow, brain freeze. Super long Nilla wafer check. This lemon sorbet is crazy. You know what I want to talk about? Dragon fruit. Is it just me or does that shit have no flavor at all? They look so pretty, but they don't have any flavor. In other news, I've been watching the, I don't know if you can see what it is, but if the TV in the back, it's just been playing a commercial for this hotel the entire time I've been here, and to be completely honest with you, I spent an hour watching it. Pineapple check. Very good. It's literally 9.45, and my ass is going to bed soon. You know what, the one good thing the quarantine did for me, I used to go to bed at like 2, 3 in the morning and wake up at like 11 a.m., which is totally fine, but I didn't love it. Guess what I do now? Bed at like 10.30, 11.30, wake up at 7.30. You know what's funny, I love honeydew flavored stuff, but when it comes to the actual fruit itself, I'm iffy on it, so let's see. See, it's not for me. I think it's a pointless fruit. It's weird how like sometimes, like I like grapes, like I'll eat grapes nonstop, but grape flavored stuff couldn't be me. You know, I'm really glad that we had this time together. I'm really glad that me and you got to have a little sleepover. It wasn't the smoothest ride. Emma got a little bit anxious. Emma wanted to go home because Emma likes to feel safe in her bed, but then Emma came around and ended up having a great evening. You know what is always the weirdest part at a sleepover? Okay, how does this happen? Every sleepover I've ever been at, it's like all of a sudden the room goes silent and everybody just knows that it's bedtime. Like who stops talking first? Is it even, is it like an energy thing? Like everybody knows it's like, you know what I mean? How do we know? Last thing I'm gonna say before I go to bed, let's bring back TGIF. Like thank God it's Friday. I miss saying that. So let's bring back TGIF, and I think that's what I'm gonna leave you guys with tonight. This is also reminding me of a video I literally made three years ago. I turned 17 yesterday. Surprisingly, I know I don't look like it, but we don't need to talk about that. I'm trying to fight some of y'all that were nice to me when I had a voice like that, when my voice was all like, hey. Like literally listen to her talk for one second and tell me you don't wanna kill her. You know what? Everyone needs to shut up. She had her moment. She had her time to shine, and the new Emma's here, and do we like her? On that note. Haha, <laughs> 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 so funny because like I was like fake snoring like really fast. Okay, for real, good night though. Good morning. I just got the best night of sleep ever. I don't know why I slept so well. It's 7.45. I did eat a lot of dairy yesterday. I do feel like something bad's gonna happen with my tummy. Good morning, LA. Maybe it's not so bad here after all. I feel like I'm in Europe.
For some reason, that view kind of looks like Europe, except minus the palm trees. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for coming on a trip with me. Uh, I can't wait. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Um, I'm excited to go home, but also, I had a good time. I took a bath. I, I had a pillow fight, you know. Ate a nice meal. Make that too, actually. Thanks for coming along with me. I'm out of here. See ya. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you guys so much. See you next week. All right. I'm going home. So. Okay, bye.